All right. Well, I'm looking at the schedule. South Alabama, win. At Colorado, win. Versus Illinois at Memorial Stadium, Northern Illinois, win. Nebraska starts off 3-0. 4-0 at Illinois. They do have some really good players coming in. Um, Lovey did a really good job on recruiting last year. Nobody, No matter what anybody says. Um, but then they get Ohio State at home at Memorial Stadium. That's key. And Nebraska fans are very loud, and they are very uh, prideful in their team. So they're going to win. Um, they're going to beat Ohio State uh, on September 28th at Memorial Stadium. Ohio State will fall to Nebraska, and that will start the downfall of Ohio State season, blah, 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 blah. Northwestern scares me, but it's also at Memorial Stadium at 2.30 or 3 p.m. They're not sure yet. Depends what time the sun rises in Nebraska that day, um, the cornfields, all that stuff. Then, scary game maybe, Minnesota. Not really. Uh, they beat Minnesota last year pretty easily, the game I was at. Uh, you can go watch my uh, synopsis. Indiana. <laughs> It's Indiana. McInerney, I don't think he's there anymore. He took the uh, took the whatever, that other league, that spring league job uh, in San Antonio for the commanders. Purdue. Purdue's a scary one. It always is. They got to travel to Purdue on November 2nd. But at this present time, they should be undefeated, and everybody should be talking about Adrian Martinez for the Heisman Trophy. Wondell Robinson, if he gets to play this year, which I think he will, he uh, he's going to do some damage. He's way above his years. Wisconsin, scary game, but once again, it's at Memorial Stadium. They get all the big wigs at home in front of the Nebraska faithful, which I got to witness firsthand. I'm telling you, they win that game too. If barring injuries, barring – a lot of things that could happen, um, but I think Frost got his marbles together this year. At Maryland, is it a scary game? Eh, they beat Ohio State. Um, no, they didn't beat Ohio State. It was a very close game versus Ohio State. Um, very, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I think they win that one too because they're on a roll versus Iowa. That's scary. Rivalry game, but once again, it's at Memorial Stadium. How did they set this schedule up? I do not know. I do not care. Whoever did it was a genius because they're looking at possibly going undefeated and making the college football playoff. I was right about this situation um, that could arise in Nebraska. I want to look at their 2019 recruiting class. At the top of 247's list is Wondell Robinson, Western Hills out of Frankfurt, Kentucky. All-purpose back, 4-3 speed, uh, get open all day. Uh, Luke McCaffrey at ATH wants to play quarterback. Ain't going to play quarterback this year. What are they going to do with Luke? Could be interesting. We never know. Great athlete, too. Uh, comes from a long line of great athletes. Uh, Ed McCaffrey, obviously. Um, going down, I don't know a lot of these other guys, but I'm sure Coach Frost did his due diligence and knows what's coming in. Noah Pola Gates, cornerback, 5'11", 165. They got four stars for him on there out of Gilbert, Arizona. Um, Ty Robinson, another kid out of Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, looks like Coach Frost likes to go to Arizona. Um, Another kid I really like, Ramir Johnson from Bergen Catholic. Very good team in New Jersey. I actually uh, I don't remember if I played against them or not, but they were they were really good. Um, Quentin Newsom out of North Gwinnett, Georgia, is a very very good safety. Watching film on him, he's legit. They had a great recruiting class. About some transfers coming in. Uh, DT, Darian J Daniels from Oklahoma State. They had a kid transferring from Cal through the transfer portal. Kanawe Noah and Travis 
Vokalev. Sounds like he's from Russia. Transferred from Rutgers. 6'6", 215-pound tight end. Why do those guys transfer? Because Coach Frost is going to know how to use them this year. Let's be honest. Um, looking back at last season, they made a lot of mistakes uh, early on in the season. Lost a lot of close games. Uh, matter of fact, let me pull up last year's schedule real quick. And we're going to see what happened here, what happened there, why it happened, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, Vegas agrees with us. Why don't you? Because you have that tribalistic nature about you, about your team, uh, and cognitive dissonance, four and eight. How can they do this? How can they do that this year? What are we about to see this year in Lincoln, Nebraska, as they put together probably the most masterful schedule you will ever see at College Football Today?